Look at that beautiful Leadville sunset. It is Friday night, the eve of the Leadville 100. And I have a lot of emotions and feelings going on right now. I'm scared and I'm nervous and I'm excited. I'm really excited to get out there and challenge myself and make new friends and be out in nature for 20 plus hours. This is a really cool opportunity, even though I know it's going to hurt. It's going to be hard, really hard. You know, I've been a runner all my life. Ever since I was a kid in elementary school, I was one of those weird little dudes who loved long distance running. And I would wake up before school and go running when I was like seven, eight years old. And people thought I was a freak and they still do. Um, and I've luckily stayed with this sport all of my life. And I owe a lot to running. I really do. You know, some of my best relationships, some of my best, you know, athletic accomplishments and some of my best moments out in nature are when I'm running. You know, I feel so connected to the earth when I'm just, it's just me, my two feet, and I'm out there. And I'm listening to the birds or the wind or I'm getting rained on. That's a really special, unique feeling. And I've spent hundreds and thousands of hours of my life running. So I feel like in a way I've been preparing my entire life for this race tomorrow. And this summer in specific, I've done a lot of hard things. I've pushed my body to the absolute limits multiple times this summer. And uh, I'm excited to see how it all comes together tomorrow. And these races are a total unknown. I don't know how it's going to happen. I'm not going to go in here arrogant and be like, yeah, I'm going to smoke this thing. It's going to be easy. That's not the way it is. Hundreds are never easy. Everybody struggles in a hundred mile race, whether you're an elite or back of the pack. We all have our moments. And this will be my fourth 100 mile race. The other three were in the deserts of Arizona, the Javelina 100. This is my first high altitude Alpine 100. And it's going to be hard. <laughs> <laughs> I keep on saying that, but it's going to be hard. But I feel like I learn the most about myself when I go to these hard places and push past them. And uh, I'm excited to see how it all works out tomorrow. You know, I have to wake up in a matter of hours, really. It's like 8 p.m. right now. I have to wake up at 2 in the morning. Race starts at 4 a.m. And uh, I'm just feeling really grateful. Grateful that my body is strong enough to even consider doing this. Grateful that I have this opportunity to run this race. Grateful that my mom and Dana and Xantha are inside that house right now and they've come up here, they sacrificed their weekend to help crew and support me. And uh, I'm feeling really loved. And I'm ready just to poof, head, head out tomorrow at 4 a.m. and just give it my all and that's all I can do. I'm gonna do my best and see how it goes. My goal is about 22 hours. We'll see, I have no idea. Um, but I do know for a fact that I will have a good day. I get to be out in nature all day long. I get to make new friends all day long. And uh, that's a gift. It's an absolute gift. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Time for bed. I got to sleep. <laughs> Uh, good morning. Good morning, Brian. <laughs> good morning, Brian. Um, all I have to say is thanks a lot for being here and yeah. waking up this early. Yeah. I was looking for the moon. Um, yeah. What well, I'm not waking, waking up. up. <laughs> we were too excited to sleep. I know. <laughs> well, I just want to tell you how much I love you. Oh, love you're the you most too. wonderful people in the world. Oh, my mom's not here because she likes to sleep in, and I don't blame her. <laughs> oh, is this a little runner warm-up spot? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Yeah. Doozer! What's up? What's up, man? How you doing, buddy? Hey, how are you? Happy Leadville 100 day! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Little over seven minutes till it all starts. Yeah. Let's get this party started. It's just a day in the woods with your friends, right? Step up, step out, have a blast today. Remember, you got this. This is what you trained for. Or the land.
Let's do this! Woo! Yeah! Only 99 and a half to go! Woo! We got this! Ryan, I'm so proud of you. And I know so few people that choose to go into the pain cave so excited. And I just want you to know, you make it look easy, you make it look fun, but I know you're gonna dig super deep today. So when it hurts, when it's not fun, when it is hard, just dig in there and I know you can do it. I'm so excited for you. So we're running downhill right now. And this is the exact same road we're gonna run up at the finish line. So this hill, I know is gonna hurt, but right now it feels pretty good. Good morning! Yeah. Woo yeah! So the big full moon is leading the way right now, and it's beautiful. All right, I'm about five or six miles in. We're running the single track around Turquoise Lake. That first part of the race back there, I was just pretty quiet. Everybody was quiet, just focused on running, moving forward, not tripping, getting in our groove. You know, for me personally, just like visualizing the next 90 or so miles, trying to get my breathing in order, calming the body down. Yeah, that's what it's all about. One step at a time. Good to see you, brother. How's life? Dude, you're looking good, brother. Hey, man, just running. Just out for a run. Yes, sir. Great job, great thank you, thank you. Soda. Let's see. No, no soda. Too early for soda. Good. I feel like this is like Halloween. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, 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 woo. It's my buddy Glenn, yay! Yeah! Woo, this is awesome! Look at all these people! Yeah! Woo! Okay, bye! Man, I can't tell you how much. That aid station pumped me up, and I had no idea it was gonna be such a rager. Uh, I hope that's a sign of things to come, because I feed off of people's energy like that. I have to be really mindful with my footsteps here. There's tons of little rocks, and it's easy to trip and fall. I've almost done it a few times. You know, I'm thinking, on the way back, when I'm much more tired, this is gonna be tricky. As far as my pace goes, you might be surprised to know that I don't run with a watch. I never do. I don't wear a watch at all. <laughs> but I'm just kinda running my own race. Going slow right now. There's a lot more to come. And it's really easy to get wound up in the excitement and go out too fast. So I'm just chilling. <sighs> Sun's coming up. It's warming up. And I'm feeling good. I like warm weather. So as you do when you're running alongside people in the middle of a 100 miler, you make friends. I got a new friend here, Michael Notham. Yeah. How you doing, bud? Doing well, man. So you've done this before? Yeah, I've done this in 2017 and 2019. Yeah. And uh, both times I got hurt around 60 miles. So this time I'm gonna, I'm going out a lot smoother, a lot more conservative, seeing what I could do. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a general question. Yeah. What do you love about running? I love to just be in the moment, feel the ground, feel my breath, feel like a little bit of moisture around, you know, my back. Every little thing, I'm just trying to be in the moment. Hey, look at this pride flag. Yeah. Look at that. In honor of Dan and Xantha. Cool. I'm 
the best thing, no smoke in the air. Oh, it smells so fresh. All right, this is the power line section. It's called that because of the beautiful power lines. And you know what's funny is the first 13 miles of this race, so crowded. And then after that aid station, where did everybody go? Where is everybody? <laughs> it's not like I just like started running really fast. I don't know where they all went. <sighs> I'm still feeling good, I really am. But I also am very, very aware that it is very early. I have a long way to go. Okay, now I'm on the super steep downhill backside of power line. And you might think, oh sweet, steep downhill, go as fast as you can. And you, you can, but it really does a number on your quads when you're just slamming on them going really fast. So I usually like to take these downhills actually pretty slowly because if you beat up your quads now and they blow up, they're not gonna work later in the race. <laughs> you know, if I was on my bike right now, woo, this would be a good section to go super fast. But, you know, I'm just kinda slowly making my way down. Look at that outfit, I like that. Ryan? Yeah. I love your YouTube channel. No man. way, thank you, brother. I've been following you for two years. It's I appreciate that. What's your name? Steve Frederick. Steve, good to meet you, brother. Oh, pleasure meeting you. You're gonna come the whole way? Oh, God, no. Oh, come on, let's go. No. <laughs> Have a good one. Hello, Long Shadow. How you doing, buddy? Woo. You got this. Woo. You'd think that hitting pavement is nice, but my legs feel so heavy on pavement. <laughs> I like the dirt. It's a little more forgiving. I'm running with my new friend Jeff from Aspen. Hey. How you doing, bud? Good. Good. Beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. What brought you back out here? You've done it before. Uh, doing lead man. Oh, you are? Yeah. What does that mean? So I rode the 100 mile bike last Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, how are your legs feeling? A little wiggly. Way to go. Let's get some food and some water. How you doing? Good, doing great. Oh, yeah. How you doing, bud? Doing awesome yourself. Thanks for being out here. Oh, oh M&M's, bananas, or potato chips? Yes. Take these. Oh. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Woo, yeah. Right. Oh, I love running through the tunnel with people. Woo, what's up, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, man. It is a beautiful, clear day. Okay, I'm still feeling pretty darn good. I'm still running pretty conservatively. Just jogging, really. And uh, saving my energy for Hope Pass. Two times Hope Pass, and then all the way back. So I have a lot of day left in front of me. So a lot of you have heard me talk about the gratitude march. And I do that when I'm deep in the pain cave and with every step I take, I think of people that I love and it just helps me put my mind somewhere else, puts my love out there into the world and helps me to forget about the pain. I'm not really in pain right now, but I wanted to talk about Ken Clover the gentleman who started this race back in the early 80s. Amazing guy. I got to meet him this June. But he had some pretty serious blood clots uh, a few weeks ago. And he wasn't here at the start line. I think it's the first time he's ever missed the Leadville 100. And uh, so right now, my gratitude is going to my man Ken. He's down in Denver at a hospital recovering. I wanna thank that man for creating this race and all the other wonderful things he's done for the town of Leadville in Colorado. He was a state senator. And you know, I don't know him all that well, 
but he's pretty impressive. And so Ken, I'm thinking about you. Big shout out to Mary Lee as well. She is with Ken in Denver. So it's definitely, we're missing their presence here. Good morning, good morning, how we doing? No crashes, no flatties, no whammies. Yeah! <laughs> You know what all this is? This is sage. And if you follow my bike videos, you know that I love taking a piece of sage with me on every adventure. It helps protect me and it just smells really good. So I'm gonna grab a little piece of sage here and bring it with me. Oh, it smells so good. Good morning. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, high five. Bam, thanks for being here. Oh, I love this so much. This is so fun. How you doing? Good to see you. How you doing? High fives. High fives. And boom. Have I told you how much I love giving high fives to strangers? I love it. I always have. And after COVID, I was like, I wonder if we're going to do this anymore. You know, with the spread of germs and stuff. But nobody seems to care. <laughs> so this guy right here, Robbie Ballinger, has a pretty incredible story. Tell us what you've done in the last, you know, two years. Two years, let's see. I ran across the United States from LA to New York City in 75 days. I set the FKT for the Central Park Loop Challenge, most loops around Central Park in a day. And now I'm about to finish up the Colorado Crush. I ran the Leadville Marathon, and then I uh, did the Colorado Trail in 11 days. Leadville 50, and then summoned all 58 14ers between that and today. And now we're gonna finish it with this 100. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you, oh, sorry. And I almost made him trip. Let's not get injured on the last day, man. No, let's get it done. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. My legs are a little thrashed, but I think we should expect that. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you love getting after it like this? Uh, it's all, it's just, way to feel the most purely alive I've found. You do this stuff and the aches and pains, even those, they make you feel alive. You know every second you're there. Yeah. You're present in it and I love it. So I'm running backwards now. The reason is I think I went the wrong way. I do not see anybody near me. I'm looking at the ground looking for footprints, not seeing many running shoes. So I think I must have missed a turn, which sucks. <laughs> Why not make the day a little longer? Wow, damn it. I must not have been paying attention. Shoot. Uh, I might have gone like a mile off. Man. I'm still not seeing anybody. <laughs> Man, whoops. All I can do is laugh. Laugh, laugh, laugh. It's not a catastrophic mistake, but it's definitely a bummer. I see where I went wrong. Here we go, back on course. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, this feels better. That probably put me back about 20 minutes. That's all right. I'm really glad I turned around when I did. I knew something was wrong. So I've been running straight pretty much since the race started. I remember my Bob, my Bob. I remember my friend Bob Africa saying, this is a very runnable course and you have to be careful. So I'm just taking advantage of a slight uphill here to walk and just calm down a little bit. I'm not in too much pain yet, but it's, it's coming. And I love these aspen trees. They comfort me. Aspen groves always remind me of my mom. I'm all alone out here. I do know that I'm going the right way though. They have these little hot pink pieces of tape they tie on a lot of bushes. So I'm going the right way, which is, which is nice. I think this might be my favorite part of the course. It's so beautiful. So my quads are definitely starting to feel it. These downhills are 
rough. <laughs> I'm just still taking it easy. I'm trying to take it real easy. Are you guys just hiding here in the woods? Yeah, yeah I love it. Okay, we got some serious down, 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 all the way in the Twin Lakes. Got a couple more miles till I get there. And uh, I'm excited about that. I'm gonna see my whole crew, Dana Xantha and my mama, and hopefully eat some real food. I've been eating all the sweet stuff. That's all the aid stations have had, really. Check it out. That's Twin Lakes. Beautiful. Whew. I gotta make sure not to fall to the left. It's pretty steep. <laughs> so we are at Twin Lakes. This is our first spot where we can see Ryan. His goal is between 22 and 25 hours. So right now, he's pretty much in the pocket. We're waiting to see what his time will be when he comes in here. But his first three checkpoints, he wasn't too far off that 22 hour time, which would be amazing. And here's our crew right here. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Donna. Who is it? Hi. It's no one. Oh. It's the world. <laughs> it's no one and it's the world. All right, we're rolling in. It sounds pretty loud and rowdy. Just the way I like it. Woo. Hi, Mom. Hi. Oh, how's it going? Good. Come Woo. On, come on, come on. Dana. Oh, I'm loving it. Yeah, it's great. How's it feel, Rye? I feel good, but I've only gone 40 miles, so let's yeah, not get okay. too excited. Awesome. <laughs> Take support to a whole new mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. How's it going? How are you guys doing? Good. Great. Yeah, good great. Morning. Yeah. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Are oh, you gonna run with me? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Bye. I love you. Great. Woo. Oh, I feel good. Do you feel good? I feel great. Awesome. I feel great. Yeah. yeah. What's up, Claire? This is such a cool scene here. The whole town's in on. Hello! Yeah! Yeah! Hey, buddy, my man, how you doing? Yeah, yeah. Hey, my man, how you doing, brother? Gotta get the high five on camera. Hey, thank you. That was awesome. That was definitely a morale boost to see to see my people. I ate a banana. They gave me a egg and cheese sandwich and uh, drank a ton of water. And I'm ready to roll up this big Hope Pass. I remember reading about this part in the book Born to Run. It's such a pivotal moment and uh, so dramatic. And here we go. I get to do it. What a dream come true. I don't know if I'll be saying it's a dream come true when I'm struggling up to the top, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh -huh. Hi, cute dog. Hi, buddy. All right, so I've made another friend. How's it going, buddy? How you doing? What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Nikhil. I'm from Denver, Colorado. Woo! This is your first Leadville? First Leadville 100. How are you feeling so far? You know, I feel like I've run about 40 miles so far. <laughs> feeling great, though. Yeah. Grateful to be out here. Feel like I'm using my training, you know? What do you love most about it? Peace, quiet, and uh, you get to really find out where your limits are. And the truth is, I found that I've always been wrong. All right, here's the river. You go first. Yeah. <laughs> Famous last word. Oh, yeah. Woo. Woo. Oh, that feels good. Oh, like a little ice bath. Now it is time for the four mile jaunt <laughs> to the top of Hope Pass. And it's kind of nice that it's so steep because nobody's running. So I'm not gonna run. <laughs> it's a nice little break. Just chill out, enjoy the scenery. I saw a bear back there in a tree. It was too far away to get on camera, but cute little bear up a tree. <sighs> and uh, yeah. There's some cloud cover. Hopefully the weather doesn't get nasty up top, but we'll see. I have a rain jacket if so. How do my legs feel, you ask? Yeah, they hurt. Yeah. It's just one of those days where 
you're just gonna deal with a little bit of pain or a lot bit. So hi Flannery. Hello. I just met Flannery as we're struggling up this big old mountain. And you're from Boulder. I am from Boulder. Best place. What does, what made you decide to do this? I got a free entry. Right on. <laughs> yeah. I was like, why not? I'm regretting that now. <laughs> this is your first hundred? First hundred. Wow. Yep. You've been preparing for this? I've been trying. Apparently not enough. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel? I feel like garbage. <laughs> but to be expected. Yeah. I just hope I won't quit. You won't Michael. quit. I'm guessing you've been a runner for a while, so. Oh, actually not. Oh, really? No, I was a soccer player. Oh. Yep. Well. I started running after college. So you, you've done athletic stuff. How do you get through the hard times? Oh. Where do you go? That's a great question. I'll figure out today. With soccer, it was so much shorter. You just endured. But apparently I don't have as much mental stamina as I thought. I'm a big softy. <laughs> This you're is fucking hard. <laughs> you're marching. You're marching up the hardest part of the course. Yeah. You're doing just fine. Yeah. Okay. Don't be hard on yourself. Yeah. Hi ho. Yeah. Hi ho. It's up Hope Pass we go. Hey, that worked pretty well. Just made that up. Just marching, one foot in front of the other. You know, it's a little daunting to think, crap. I have, you know, 55 miles to go, more than half, but uh, I've been here before. I know what it feels like to push through this, and this is when it gets real. These are the moments. This is it. This is why I do these things, which sounds weird, <laughs> but... Uh, I love it. In a strange, messed up way, I love it. This is a pretty awesome aid station. Yeah. They get everything up here with llamas, llama power. I love it. There's hope, there's hope. Woo, high five, buddy. This Coke? Yes, sir. What do you need? Oh, let's see, you're gonna put some water in this. How's it going? Everything you see is self serve. Uh, this is uh, ramen. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm going off course a little bit to say hi to one of these guys. Hi. Look at these guys. Thank you for bringing up our food. Ooh, it's cold up here. <laughs> Man. But it is beautiful. There's no doubt about that. Man. Whew. My legs hurt so bad. <laughs> it's hard to imagine being able to run again today, which kind of scares me. That's where we're going. That's where we're going. Getting closer with every step. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And sharp right. Doop. Oh, these are big steps. Oh. Come on, Ryan. Whew. Oh. And mentally, it's just kind of hard knowing I have to do this again. <laughs> Hope Pass Part One. Feels good. Time to get out of here. This is the out part. We go out 50 miles and come back 50 miles. So we're closing in on halfway. All right, so I'm jogging down here. I'm trying to, you know, throttle my speed. Because when I go fast, it just slams on my quads. And my quads are the problem area right now. <laughs> they hurt, so I'm trying to breathe. Trying to be ginger as I make my way down this mountain, but it's hard because the gravity just wants to pull you down. <laughs> so we're starting to see the leaders coming back up. I just saw Anton in uh, third place, looking strong. 
not wearing a shirt as always <laughs> and it's cold up here but he doesn't seem to care good job good job way to go way to go those are the fast guys <laughs> gotta cheer them on everybody cheers on one another that's why i love these these races good job good job way to go way to go Woo! go get them okay so the good news is I am indeed running. <laughs> I was kind of worried uh, going up Hope. My legs felt shot. I didn't think that I could ever run. But uh, here we go. Still, it is still early, early in the race. I keep saying that, but it's still early. I'm still not even halfway there. Looking good, way to go, way to go. Nice job, buddy. Way to go, way to go. Looking good. Keep it up. Okay. I made it to Winfield. <laughs> Halfway. Halfway. Can you believe it? Oh yeah, chips would be good. Thank you, you know? sir. You Thank bet. you. This is awesome. You're the man. Salt, at, water, everything he needs right here. It is. You guys got, got it. And he's got the smiles. Yeah, you got the smile too. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> now I'm getting some mashed potatoes with salt. The real foods are key at this point in the race. I'm sick of the sugary stuff. <laughs> yes, dude. Smiles all around. Smiles all around. Have some fun. All right, I will. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Winfield. Woo! Number one aid station. It's always hard to get started after sitting in a chair. I think I was only there for maybe five to seven minutes. You know, I'm trying to get in and out fast, but I'm also paying attention to my stomach and I definitely need to eat food get the calories in I'm burning a lot today okay so Ryan whew, 50 miles to go super steep pass coming up here in a few miles I'm downhill back to Twin Lakes and then I pick up my first pacer dun da 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 You too, bud. Nice sir, bro. Yeah, you too. Good work, good work. Up, way to go, way to go. You know what hurts? This hurts. <laughs> How you doing, bud? Good, man. Good to see you. Good man. to see you, too. How you doing, my friend? Oh, man. Good to see you. How's life? Give it a little hug? Yeah. Oh, oh, I was in a bad tough. place, man, for like 10 miles. You doing but... better now? Yeah, I got my second win. I feel pretty good. Good, man. You're going to make it. I think so. You're going to make it. I'm going to make it. Yeah, good to see you, bro. Yeah, you too, dude. Cheers. Uh-oh, thunder. That'll make things fun. Hello. Hey, guys. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't rain on top of Hope Pass. Hello, Mr. Shadow. You're doing a good job. Oh. Woo. Oh, where'd you go, man? Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to myself. Actually, I'm talking to my shadow, which is even weirder. Look at that view. Look how beautiful that view is. <sighs> That's what's keeping me going right now. Good job, buddy. How you guys doing? Good. Good work. Good work. Woo! Man, Hope Pass got taller, I swear. Good job, good job, way to go. Thank you. All right, Hope Pass number two. And it is chilly up here now. <laughs> Look who I found up here. It's my buddy Ted. How you doing, bud? How's life? Uh, doing good. All right, it's time to go down. I'm gonna put the camera away. I'll see you in Twin Lakes. How's that sound? Whew. Good job, guys, good job. You made it to the top of Hope Pass. This is the view waiting for Ryan to come in. This is what you do. You watch and you watch and you watch and you watch. And you hope that any time around the corner, it's him. That guy there in the blue, he's waiting for his runner too. Right there we have Ryan's pacer. There's Donna, she's checking all the times. 
and we wait and we watch. Come on, Ryan, get in here. Here we go again. Oh, that's a little colder this time. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's, I feel cold and it's raining on me. <sighs> you ready to run? Heck How's yeah. life? Awesome. Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. You're so strong. Well, yeah, you know, hope kind of works for me, but. Okay, I'm here to find out what you need and I'm going to run ahead and tell your crew. Hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah look at this. Yeah. Right on. I love Woo. it. Yeah. This is what I needed. A little pick me up here. Looking good. Thank you. Yay. Yeah. Woo. I'm doing pretty good. Dying or anything? I'm not dying, but that was hard. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Doing great. What do you that need? That was hard. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. it's hard. It's filming. I think okay. we do. Uh, uh, one more bite. Take yeah. it with you. Okay. Are you, um, all right. Are you ready? Uh, I'm so ready. You gotta get ready for this. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. We'll see you at uh, the end. The end. The end. I love you. Love you. I love you. I love you. Yes, Thank you, you so much. Let's go, Amelia. Let's have some fun. Yay. Bye. I'm good, thank good you. Luck. Woo! All right. So this is my pacer, Amelia Boone. How you doing? I am fantastic. I can't thank you enough for, for doing this. Uh, I can't thank you enough for letting me accompany you. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. It's like and, cool uh, you get to run part of the course, but not the entire thing. Yeah, for free. <laughs> right? Yeah. And you're known as um, the Queen of Pain. Is that your name? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Because I'm in a little pain, so maybe you can transfer some of your skills to me. Right, how you deal with the pain. Yeah, how do you deal with this pain? This is a really good way to deal with the pain, actually. <laughs> Distract yourself. Yeah. Talk to other people. <laughs> Get out of your own head. Yeah. You know. I, I like it. And eventually, it passes. Man, my legs hurt. <laughs> they hurt. We're back in my favorite part of the course. This place right here is super magical. And it smells extra fresh cause it rains so much. So we're doing a downhill interview with my new friend, Gabe. How you doing, bud? Uh, not so bad. You know, we're running in the daylight still, so, you know, 65-ish miles in, so can't complain. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, from Leadville originally, I live in Denver now. Have you always been a runner? Uh, no, I uh, I wrestled through college actually, and then uh, just started uh, running after that. Right on, what do you love about it? Ah, uh, good question. <laughs> right now, <laughs> I mean, you might is, not be this, loving it, is, Yeah, that's a bad time to ask, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think trail running specifically, you know, getting out and able to see a lot of uh, Beautiful terrain, you know. Since I'm out in the woods, it is time for the Campfire S'mores goo. This is probably like my 20th goo today. And I will say, I am very sick of them, but this is the first time I've had the S'mores one and it's pretty good. So when Amelia said that she would help pace, I mean, I don't know Amelia at all. I met her once for like five minutes. Yes. And I was like, oh, that'd be great. But then I got nervous and started thinking, but I'm gonna be, farting like crazy in front of this woman who I don't know that well. And I'm gonna be all shy, but it turns out. Turns out farting doesn't phase me. <laughs> You're an ultra runner, you've seen everything. I've seen people, shit, I've seen, I, I mean, look. <laughs> Bodily functions are uh, natural. They're natural. All right, we have the Colorado Dream Team right here. Dave Mackey, Amelia Boone, Bob Africa. How you doing, Dave? Um, well, we've got 30 miles to go, and uh, 
Well, I guess I'm getting through it. Bob, remind me of that line you <laughs> told me at camp. It is. It's not who's the fastest, but who slows down the least. I think we've seen that in the last five miles as you clip by a lot of people that have had a really fast 60 miles and are paying for it right now. Yeah. And you're just cruising. We are cruising. It's awesome. It actually feels good. It's like yeah. a nice temperature, beautiful evening. I'm with all my, my people. Aid station soon. Yeah. yeah. So we're at the point of the race where everything hurts. I'm a little nauseous. I'm completely, completely exhausted. <laughs> but I really appreciate that you're here. Keeping me moving. Everything hurts and I'm dying, but you're gonna make it. So that dot in the sky is the full moon. Ho, ho, ho! Can you howl? <laughs> nice. Come on, you, Apple, do you your thing. You got it? Oh, you might get a winner. Oh, oh. that looks kind of cool, actually. It looks like daylight. Look at that. Let me see if I can. Right? Oh, yeah, it does look like daylight. <laughs> We're outward bound try inbound. To it. Outward bound inbound. Her. Mile 75. <laughs> I'm hurting. <laughs> I'm hurting. <laughs> this is where the race starts, remember? Good. That's right. That's where it starts. I'm going to start sprinting. <laughs> yep. Okay. Dude, after this aid station, it. May Queen and, and home. So, okay. this is pacer number two, Darcy's PQ. One of the most, uh, I don't know, you're a very accomplished ultra runner, and I'm very lucky to have you. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm this excited. Gonna fun. We're going to go slay some dragons. We're going to go slay some dragons. Let's do it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> what do you have? I got some, let's see, okay. Ooh. What flavor? Pomegranate? Passion fruit. Ooh, yummy. Thank yeah. you. Whew, so we are we are slowly marching up that super steep power line thing that I came down today and let me tell you it's a grinder, it's a grinder. it hurts <laughs> I am struggling but awesome. but it's I'm so grateful I have Darcy here because she is just pure positivity and keeps Line keeps me going amazing. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> socks on his hands? That's right! <laughs> We're in socks on my hands to stay warm. Oh, there's the full moon. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. oh, this is just too steep. Who made this so steep? Space camp. Space camp. Uh, I feel like I'm at Burning Man. This party appeared out of nowhere. On your right, there's aid on your right if you need it. I like your sign. Yeah. <laughs> you need I like your outfit. Hey, though, I like What's it too, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe it's a short kids. Thank you so much for being here. We're here for you. You're wonderful uh, people. All right, we're going to try some CBD on my quads. Okay, which quad? Both, uh, both of them hurt. <laughs> <laughs> You guys stay safe, man. Thank yeah. you so much. Excellent. You guys are amazing. Really thank you, great. thank you, thank you. So Darcy, you've been in the pain cave many times. What do you do to, to get through it? Oh man. Sometimes I growl. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just sigh it out. Um, Sometimes I put music in and just try and motivate myself that way um, i have 13 miles to the finish which in some ways seems like oh only 13 miles in other ways it's like oh that's a damn half marathon <laughs> but we're gonna get it done we're moving forward this is excruciating <laughs> it's taking every ounce of energy to move my body forward and it's a mix of walking and jogging and I'm just I'm just talking to myself just keep going Ryan go Ryan go I mean just keeping it simple one foot in front of the other because this is beyond hard this is where it's all mental <sighs> my body's done my mind has some left 
and it's telling my body to shut up and go because I want to go to bed soon. <laughs> Okay, I've devolved into just a steady walk, <laughs> but I'm moving forward and I'm still smiling even though I'm in serious pain and discomfort. <laughs> a little nauseous, <sighs> all the things really, and uh, I'm close, I think about five miles away. Yeah, <laughs> the long march. All right, I've been walking for how many miles? Probably eight. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try to run the last bit to the finish line. Oh. You made the running happen. <laughs> oh. It's happening. It's happening. I'm running ever so slowly. Oh. Pain, 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 but the finish line is right there. Oh boy, the finish line is right up there. 100 miles is a long way to go. It's a long way to go. It's just after 4 a.m. The race started 24 hours ago. I just pulled an all-nighter, all-dayer. So proud of you. Thanks, Dana. So proud of you. Thank you. I love you guys so much. I love you so much. Ryan, you did another really, really hard thing. I did. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Yeah. And you're running again. Nice work. Thank you. So awesome. Darcy. Red carpet. <laughs> Darcy did it. He did it. Take the red carpet. Oh, the red carpet. Go. Yes. 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 Welcome home. Uh, Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. Great uh, job. Thank you. You Stop. did so good. Uh, hi, Mom. Oh, congratulations. Oh, you did, you. you did it. You did it. Oh. 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 That'll take a picture of you. Thank you so much. Oh, you rocked it. That was amazing. Yeah. So before I go home and jump in bed, which is what I want to do right now. Uh, wow. Whew. I did it. I did it. That was really hard. Oh my God. I don't know if I've ever done anything quite that hard in 24 hours. I mean, that pushed me. You know, the most of the race really was quite enjoyable, but man, the last 20 miles were just an absolute death march. And I'm so grateful to Amelia and Darcy and my mom and Dana and Xantha and all my new friends that I met out there today. This is an incredible event. And it really is a family. You know, everybody out here, they seem to know each other. And they, the town of Leadville really embraces us and loves us. And Ken and Mara Lee are, they're like our, our grandparents, you know? And if they were here right now, they'd be, they'd be hugging all the finishers. And so thank you to Ken and Mara Lee for starting this incredible event. And, uh, Whew, I don't know if I'll be back right now in this moment. I'm like, I am never running a hundred miler again. <laughs> oh, God, it's time to sleep. Thank you all for watching this. Maybe it was enjoyable. I don't know if it's fun to watch me suffer, but oh my God, this is just a, it's a big life accomplishment. And uh, I'm proud that I got to the finish line, even though I walked the final eight miles. Ah, uh, that's tough. Usually I like to finish races strong, but not this one. Um, but I had an incredible day, an incredible experience, and this will be a highlight of my running career, no doubt. No doubt.